what's going on guys, Deke's back again, and uh, today I just thought we'd talk about uh, E3 2016, uh, that just, well it's pretty much over when I'm recording this video, um, all the main press conference have been, and um, yeah I just thought I'd make a quick video right, talking about it and like how I feel about things at the moment and stuff like that, gameplay in the background, obviously Overwatch, which if you haven't played, is a really fun game. Um, 10, 20 times funner with your friends. Um, the gameplay is literally nothing special. I uh, wanted to make this video but didn't have any gameplay to put in the background so I just went on. It was my first match of anything on the day so I'm probably playing like absolute dog shit but whatever. It's just there to not be a black screen. Anyway, and yeah it was, I have to say, Sony hands down destroyed uh, the, the, the whole event um they absolutely killed it with all the uh, exclusives and the games and that's what really what i wanted to talk about so the game uh, the conference opened up and we had uh, ea was first with theirs and it wasn't really they really emphasized on like the sports games like fifa and stuff and i really couldn't care less i mean titanfall 2 was cool uh, the fact that they've got a story mode in that that is cool but i don't know it wasn't really doing it for me. I was actually really hoping for Skate 4, because Skate 3 was just... Oh, that game was so fun, and they need to make a fourth one. Uh, there's been rumours in the past that it's in development, but we haven't seen anything on it at all. Other than that, it went to the Xbox conference, and I just feel like every Microsoft conference since the Xbox One <laughs> like uh, conference, you know, since the year that the Xbox One was announced and released or whatever. I feel like every Microsoft conference is just they're just trying to redeem it with stuff that doesn't matter. Because you watch the Microsoft conference and they're just talking about stuff like all these games are going to be playable on your Xbox and PC. Just solidifying the fact that you don't need an Xbox One. And yeah they announced a new console. Yeah it's great. It's small. It's white. I mean great. 4K resolution for the 1.2% of population which have 4K resolution monitors, TVs, whatever. Um, but it just annoys me because, and I am salty about, I'm salty about everything. I have an Xbox One and the main reason why I bought an Xbox One was because my profile, you know, when you've got like, well at the time it was like five year old profile and I had all my stuff on it, all my, my achievements logged and stuff and when like you've made your friend group on Xbox, you kind of like want to stick together. And that's happened, and now, well, and the other reasons were like, games like Halo, like I've always loved Halo, and I, you know, bought Xbox One instinctively to play Halo 5. And Halo 5 was really, really disappointing. And all these other games like Gears of War 4, or Gears 4, whatever they're calling it now, it's just, they're not enough. They, they're not done right. It's just not enough to make me feel happy for buying an Xbox One. <clears throat> so, yeah, I am kind of butt hurt. And now that, like, a lot of my friends I don't even talk... Oh, that's my phone. A lot of my friends I don't even talk to on the Xbox One anymore. And, like, it literally sits there gathering dust. Apart from when I occasionally use it to make um, gameplay videos. Because, I don't know, my uh, PC games kind of recordings fuck up for me and shit so it's kind of easier just to whack an Elgato on and record gameplays like I've been doing the Fallout series on there and all that sort of stuff but that's the only time I touch my Xbox because it, what's the point and then Sony comes in after the Microsoft uh, thingy or six hours later or whatever and just blows it away they don't talk about shit all they're just showing trailers and gameplay of all these awesome exclusives we had days like we had games like Days Gone By or whatever, Days Gone, I think it's called Days Gone, they were, they announced Resident Evil 7, no one saw that one coming, Hideo, you know Kojima just popped out of nowhere and was like, I'm back bitches, and here's my shit, and he just showed off his new game IP, um, it was called Death Stranding, I think, uh, has Norman Reedus in it, um, so he's obviously made the Silent Hills thing, had Norman Reedus in it and was like, cool, you're good, let's make some other shit, but, and then God of War, all these games are awesome, I mean, we didn't actually hear anything about the uh, next PS4, 
Which is a bit weird considering there was a lot of conversation about that game around the uh, PS4 Neo or whatever it was going to be called. Um, oh yeah, and Microsoft announced that Project Scorpio, uh, like some sort of like extremely powerful console, supposedly, that's going to be like announced in 2017 or something. Something like six teraflops of bullshit and stuff like that, and it's... I don't know. I'm just... I'm mad that I purchased an Xbox One and kept my faith in... And, like, they're not doing themselves any favours. Because the ultimate combo is to have a PC and a PS4. Because PS4 actually has exclusives. And Xbox... Every, every Xbox exclusive, excluding, like, Halo 5... Um, Gears 4, I don't know if that is actually going to be available on PC, but they're just saying that all of their exclusive, like, Halo Wars 2, it's like, only on Xbox, oh yeah, it's also coming to PC, so, yeah, who's not, if you've got a PC, who's not going to get it on a PC? I'm an entitled white guy, just getting mad about <sighs> video games, yeah. Oh, Wildlands looks as good as well, I forgot about the uh, Ubisoft conference, that started off really bad, though, really bad with the whole Just Dance thing, they did it again, I just, Jesus. I probably put links in the description to all the trailers and stuff if you guys missed any, so they're just easy to access. The games, are ex the games I'm excited for though, um, we've got uh, Final Fantasy 15 coming out this year. I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, what other games have we got coming out this year? Wildlands looks fun. Battlefield, oh the Battlefield One gameplay. I didn't even talk about that. Battlefield One gameplay. Oh. Oh, it's getting me back in. I've skipped out on Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. No, I don't know why. I just didn't really have the appeal. But Battlefield 1 has got me by the throat. Wants me to play it. It looks so good. But yeah. Mm. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, I will see you guys later.